we might be building something that we resent. And that is absolutely terrifying to think about. This is why people build businesses that feel like a prison to them. So this video was filmed in response to Vanessa Lau, who recently announced she's going on sabbatical indefinitely, in spite of the fact that she quit her corporate job, became a multiple seven-figure successful and extremely brilliant entrepreneur, and yet she still finds herself emotionally and mentally in the same place where she's super burnt out, her obligations are to the company rather than the other way around because she wanted to create a business that suited her, that was built for her lifestyle and what she wanted. One of the examples here is how she was prioritizing business meetings over meeting up with her friends, which is ultimately what she wanted to be doing when she owned her own business. And this is something that I talk about with a lot of my business coaching clients as well. You want to build a business that is aligned with your values. But so many of us, myself included, have created businesses in the past where we feel like it's a prison of our own making. For me, with Lisa's study guides, I created a business somewhat that was aligned with my values. I created a lot of flexibility for myself because I delegated so much of the work and so I only had to work five hours a week in the end, but I sacrificed one other really valuable value that I have, which is connection. So I actually stopped tutoring the students. I stopped connecting to the people as much and that really left me feeling just uncertain of where I was going with the business. So the ultimate question here is how do you create a business that you're actually going to enjoy and actually serves you? It all comes down to knowing your values. It's simple said, but the reason why this doesn't happen is because so many of us are not connected and we don't understand what our values are. We don't spend time actually getting familiar with what do we truly value in life and starting to experiment with it, seeing which values stick with us and seeing which ones don't. So for me, I have a few top values. I have independence, flexibility, learning, and connection. And so what this means is that whenever I make a decision in my business that I'm unsure of, I always filter it through my values. So is this going to serve me in terms of my connection value? Is this going to serve me in terms of my learning? For example, recently I was tossing up on whether or not I should hire somebody for my team or I just go away on holidays. I'm going to Europe for six weeks and not have anybody on the team, which means I would have to shut the business down. Obviously, not shutting it down and having it scale in the background is the most ideal, but when I actually thought about it and filtered it through my values, one of the key things I want is flexibility, and I knew I wouldn't have any flexibility if I had to manage somebody back home while I was still away because they still needed training. Let me know what you think.